Hello and welcome to Vault Holocron. I'm Jonathan and it is now December and we are officially in the build up to Christmas. So I've decided to do a snow slash ice related video to celebrate. Today I will be covering the creatures of Hoth, the well known ice planet which first appeared in the Empire Strikes Back. Despite Hoth being very remote and having very low temperatures, with the planet being known to drop to minus 60 degrees Celsius or minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit come nightfall, life still found a way, with creatures inhabiting Hoth. Anyway, let's get into explaining the creatures of Hoth. So first I'm going to start with probably the most well known creature of Hoth, the Wampa. Wampas were large creatures, standing at an average height of 2.5 to 3 meters, or about 8 foot 2 inches, to about 9 foot 11 inches, and weighing a heavy 150 kilograms, or about 330.7 pounds. They had white fur, black eyes, small black or grey cranial horns, large claws, and sharp teeth. They also showed a form of sentience, caring about their clans and family deeply, and also having a dedicated wampa to go out and hunt for the clan, as shown in the book, from a certain point of view, The Empire Strikes Back. The wampa we saw in The Empire Strikes Back actually had its own clan, but they were attacked by the rebels setting up on Hoth, and most likely killed, so that's why this wampa was shown to be alone. Wampa were known to hunt Tuntun, a species coming up later in this video. Tauntaun were faster than Wampas and could even use their horns defensively, making them harder to hunt. To catch Tauntauns, Wampas used their fur to camouflage with the snow around them, giving them the element of surprise so that they could quickly stun or kill their prey before it had the chance to get away. This technique wasn't exclusive to Tauntaun, with Wampa being able to use it to surprise other prey too. Once they had captured their prey, Wampas would drag it to a cave, where it would then be hung upside down, secure for when the Wampas would later want to eat them. In case you are wondering, Wampas could hang their prey upside down by tying them to the ceiling and melting the ice around their feet with their breath, so that they would then be stuck in the ice. Next up is the Tauntauns, the creatures which some of the rebels rode around on while on Hoth. Tauntauns were repto mammals which had white fur, white feathers, blackish grey eyes, thick white scaly skin to defend from the cold, long claws for climbing icy surfaces and scraping away lichen and plants, and two pairs of nostrils, a large pair for maximum oxygen intake during intense physical activity and a smaller pair for inactive periods and grazing. They could also switch between breathing through their smaller nostrils and their larger nostrils to regulate body temperature. Tauntauns also secreted oils through their skin to create scents which could attract mates and be used as communication. While Tauntauns were well adapted to the freezing conditions of Hoth, they still couldn't handle the nighttime temperatures and so had to live in caves and grottos where summer heat from Hoth's core came through the ground. Small plants and lichen could also grow inside these caves, and formed part of Tauntaun's diets. They also ate ice scrabblers and hoth hogs. Tauntauns tended to travel in packs of 25, and there were actually 15 subspecies of Tauntauns. Tauntauns could also burrow into the snow for warmth if necessary. As well as this, Tauntauns were very fast, being able to move at 90 km per hour, or about 56 miles per hour. While running, they kept balance using their tails. Tauntauns were also migratory creatures, meaning that they travelled following migration routes based on season. As we saw in The Empire Strikes Back, Tauntauns could also be domesticated, with the rebels using them sometimes, with Tauntauns being especially useful when the cold had shut down their T-47 airspeeders. Okay, so I've just covered the two most well-known creatures of Hoth, so now I'm going to go through the others together. To start, I'm covering the Falk-nosed Iceworm. Not much is known about the Falk-nosed Iceworm, but we do know that it was a rare creature 
which was worth a lot of credits. This was shown through Dr. Afra, who found a fossilized falconosed ice worm and sold it for a good amount of credits. Next, I'm covering ice scrabblers. Ice scrabblers were rodent like creatures, which we don't really know anything about, but we do know that they weren't actually exclusive to Hoff, also being found on Gygor. Now I'm covering the Reibu. Reibu are an interesting part of canon, as they have only appeared as sound clips for Battlefront, and haven't shown up elsewhere yet. Next I'm covering Sapphire Ice Worms. Sapphire Ice Worms were a species of worm which burrowed tunnels into the icy ground of Hoth. These holes then made whistling sounds when wind passed through them. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this dive into the creatures of Hoth, and that you have a good Christmas time if you are watching this near release, and we hope to see you later at Vault Holocron.